What's up, Night Owl? Steely here back with another video, and today we're going to be cooking another recipe out of the Heroes Feast Dungeons & Dragons cookbook. I finally decided to cook the pot roast recipe out of this book, which is the Rayged Venison Pot Roast, and I'm looking forward to sharing this with you guys. So let's, let's get to it. To start with, we're going to need three pounds of beef chuck roast, salt and pepper, olive oil, we're going to need to chop an entire large yellow onion. We'll also need some bay leaves, four to be exact. One teaspoon of sweet paprika. One and a half tablespoons of flour. One tablespoon of tomato paste. Three quarter cup of dry white wine. One and a half cups of chicken broth. Three quarter cup of apricots. One whole head of garlic. Three large sprigs of fresh thyme. 12 ounces of carrots peeled and cut into three quarter inch pieces. Also 12 ounces of potatoes peeled and chopped into three quarter inch pieces. And finally, a quarter cup of chopped fresh parsley. Dry the beef with paper towels, and the recipe says to tie the beef into a uniform shape with kitchen twine, but I didn't bother with this. I just left it as it is. And you want to sprinkle generously with salt and pepper to season the beef. The recipe calls for a Dutch oven, but I'll be cooking this exclusively in a crock pot. Add one tablespoon of olive oil to the crock pot and let that warm up. And then we're going to add our beef. We want the beef to be brown on all sides, so turn it over once one side is finished. Make sure you adjust the heat if your beef starts to burn. Once the beef is brown on all sides, we're going to transfer it to a bowl and then we're going to start adding vegetables to our crock pot. Starting with the onions, bay leaves, and a little bit of salt. We want to cook that until the onions start to soften up a bit. Once the onions have softened up, we're going to add the paprika and the flour. And our tablespoon of tomato paste. We're going to let that cook just a little bit longer till it's fragrant. And then we're going to add the white wine. and the chicken broth. 
Next, we'll add the garlic. Make sure the skin and the top of the head of the garlic is removed so that the cloves are exposed. Then we're gonna add our apricots. And finally, our sprigs of thyme. We wanna stir that up a bit before we nestle our meat in the juices. And we're gonna let that cook for about two hours before we add the rest of the vegetables. Potatoes in. Carrots. And close it back up. While we let that pot roast slow cook, let's go ahead and read the lore behind this recipe. The frozen and unforgiving tundra of Faerun's north are tested by a brave few and tamed by nearly none. However, the Regged Barbarians, a collection of hardy and superstitious totem-based nomadic tribes, my kind of people, wandered the lands with comparable ease, harnessing its sparse potential for the benefit of their relatively small clans. To endure the arduous cold of Icewind Dale, the Regged and other tr similar groups, such as the Uthgard or Northern Faerun, must maximize time and energy to thrive. Communal meals at winter camps constructed seasonally to survive the exceptionally long winters are as central to their dignified warrior culture as their deep religious traditions. Venison, the meat of antelope, deer, or elk, is the most readily available and thus coveted finding various uses for these resourceful nomads. But beef is completely acceptable in other realms, which is what we're using. One ceremonial dish to which the Regged stake proud claim that marks the beginning of a long winter is pot roast. I'm telling you, these, these people, these are my kind of people. A tender flank of beasts, chunks of dried apricots, halved gold potatoes, and branches of seasonal herbs intermingle with the natural wild meat juices to make this an especially aromatic and practical single course meal. The recipe says to let that pot roast cook for about three more hours, but I let it slow cook for a good eight to 10 hours, just so the meat gets really, really tender. Now I tried to make this pot roast not look so messy on camera, but the meat was just so tender and falling apart. And, and the gravy was all in the carrots and the potatoes and the gravy was just all over the place. It was really hard to make this look good on camera, but I can assure you it tasted amazing. You'll want to transfer the beef to a plate before you start scooping out the potatoes and carrots onto your plate. I really enjoyed how this turned out though. The meat was so tender and it just fell apart. It was worth so, slow cooking it for so long. And that's it for our Regged Venison Pot Roast. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, you know how YouTube works. Hit those buttons, leave a comment down below. Let me know what recipe you want to see covered next. And if you want to be a part of this D&D &D community, make sure you join the Discord link in the description. Come by, ask questions, let me know what you think. And as always, I'll see you at sundown.